White Knight Corps got raised in 1972, post the 1971 war. It was raised by Lieutenant General G.F.R. Jacob, Paramshi Seva Medal, at Nagrota only. In the 50 years of history and even prior to that, uh, the area which comes under control of White Knight Corps has seen action in all the wars. As you are aware, in 47-48 also, the Kabbalis had raided areas of Nushara, Jangad, even put a siege to Punch. And the brave soldiers of the formation were able to fight back, take over these areas, which became ceasefire line. Again in 65, they were all fights and we captured the Haji Pir, which was very important objective, which was captured in 65 war. And similarly, in 71 also, the Nangi Tekri was captured by the brave soldiers of White Knight Corps. Subsequent to this, we saw the evil designs of Pakistan in which they wanted to make disturbance into whole of Jammu and Kashmir by the strategy called Thousands Cut. They want to bleed us by Thousands Cut. And again, White Knight Corps, all soldiers stood up against that evil design and today we can see that we have total peace and development and prosperity in the Jammu region which is the control span of the White Knight Corps. So over the years, whatever has been the task mandated to give the sanctity of the LC to ensure peace and stability in hinterland has been executed by brave soldiers of White Knight Corps. Sir, uh, as we all know that in the uh, force during the election we have some of the sensitive district sessions. How the force is playing its role in fighting so many uh, uh, challenges are, uh, firstly, we, I would say that there is a challenge to ensure that there should be no first infiltration. The Pakistan, the evil design is sending infiltration. Initially, it used to be terrorists and weapons. There used to be weapon consignments. And now infiltration has got a second meaning in which terrorists, weapons and narco is coming. So the first challenge is to stop infiltration of either terrorists or of weapons or warlike stores or of any narco for which the core is fully empowered and emboldened. We have effective surveillance grid. We have a fence which is on the, all along the LC and our soldiers are doing 24 hours duty on the AIS so that enemy is not able to infiltrate into our area. The second problem is to ensure the safety, peaceful development and safe hinterland. Because in spite of stopping infiltration of LC, enemy has adopted infiltrating from different borders and sending terrorists inside our area to make it disturbed. So we have effective counter-terrorist grid in which anybody, if he is able to come inside also by other means than from LC, we are able to eliminate him and ensure that the peace and stability of the region stays. The good part is, the population of all this area south of Pir Punjab is totally anti-militants. We have seen no support from the population and that's a very healthy sign and we like to encash on that to, as we travel in our journey. Enemy may be trying to disturb this area, but till that time population is with us, we assure you that he will not be able to succeed in his evil designs. Thank you. Pankaj. Sir, please elaborate about the counter-insurgency pressure in the White Knight Corps. Uh, Counter-insurgency operation, White Knight Corps has evolved as by the design of the enemy. Because enemy started this problem, creation of the insurgency sometime in 90s in whole of Jammu and Kashmir. At that stage, as you all are aware, we didn't have effective fence or any obstacle system to stop the infiltration. So militants, with the help of the deep state, came inside with large numbers, they established their bases, and then the White Knight Corps reacted. So it took us almost about 15 years from 90s to sometime I would say 2007-8 to be effective and that is how the curve started bending. So we have been able to eliminate almost about 1000 militants in this period. They were nuisance, they created problem but White Knight Corps eliminated them. Subsequently from period from 2012 to till today the violence levels are very, 